Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bel Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander and President of the Supreme Defense Council, chaired the Council's meeting, which was held at Sakhir Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty hailed the national humanitarian efforts exerted by His Royal Highness Crown Prince to face the spread of the coronavirus COVID 19, achieved through the work of the national team with the solidarity of the various authorities, supported by the awareness and cohesion of all the people of Bahrain. National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Major General Zahani Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa briefed the Council on the topics of his agenda aimed at raising defense security and health capabilities. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to the Bahrain Defense Force, the Ministry of Interior and the National Guard for their efforts in controlling the spread of the coronavirus which is in line with the inherent duty to ensure the safety and security of Bahrain. His Majesty affirmed that the 4.3 billion dinar economic stimulus package launched is aimed to add supporting the national endeavor to mitigate the repercussions of the global spread of the virus on the local level to maintain the health and safety of all citizens and residents while continuing the sustainable development endeavors. His Majesty noted the importance of adopting the necessary legislative measures to activate the economic stimulus package to both benefit citizens and continue the growth of the private Bahraini sector. His Majesty Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation as well as pride in the large number of volunteering citizens which reflects their deep-rooted patriotism. His Majesty underscored the international praise the Kingdom has received as evidenced by the World Health Organization's report for its precautionary measures and readiness according to the standards and recommendations of the WHO which has made the Kingdom of Bahrain a role model globally. His Majesty asserted that the situation in the Kingdom is stable, noting the increase in the number of recoveries and wishing everyone success in serving the homeland. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa's court has announced in a statement that His Royal Highness will return to the Kingdom of Bahrain on Friday following his recovery. The court prays to God to grant His Royal Highness the Prime Minister health and wellness to continue his efforts in the service of the Kingdom of Bahrain and its development and prosperity. His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the fourth meeting of the committee to follow up on the construction of the sports city. A number of ministers and officials also attended the meeting. His Highness affirmed that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's support has made the kingdom a capital for both the youth and sports. His Highness expressed appreciation to the leadership for its continuous patronage noting that His Majesty the King's support has made the Kingdom one of the leading destinations globally for sports activities. His Highness Sheikh Nasser noted that the sports city will contribute to hosting a number of global activities and championships and transforming the Kingdom of Bahrain to be a youth and sports events hub. He added that through developing infrastructure, the sports city will host sporting events and stressed the keenness to follow up with relevant authorities to implement the project, adding that it will make the Kingdom an example of developing and providing the appropriate environment for the sectors. Sheikh Nasser held a video conference with international companies supervising the implementation of the project where he and the attendees reviewed the administrative, technical and engineering measures taken by the Bahraini team supervising the project and the companies implementing it and the results of the technical review of the project presented by the companies. Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the conclusion of His Majesty the King's Cup was held. His Majesty the King delegated the PDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, to attend the annual shooting contest and the Tug of War Championship at the Electronic Shooting Range as part of the celebrations of the 52nd anniversary of establishing the PDF.
Upon the arrival of the BDF Commander-in-Chief, he was received by the Ministry of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan al-Naimi, Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagar al-Naimi, Under Secretary of the Defense Affairs Ministry, Major General Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed al-Khalifa, and the Director of the General Command Office, Hassan Mohammed Saad. The Director of the Military Sports Association, Brigadier General Mohammed Abdullah bin Jalal, delivered a speech in which he welcomed the BDF Commander-in-Chief, hailing the Support military sports receive from the officials at the BDF, led by the BDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed, commended the efforts of the championship organizers and thanked them for the well preparation and organization. He congratulated the participants on the outstanding results made at the championship competitions. The Field Marshal affirmed that the BDF believes in the importance of military sports as it contributes to the fitness of its members. He said that the sporting achievements have included the BDF football team's attainment of nine gold medals, one silver and seven bronze in the seventh military world games, which are the result of His Majesty the King's keenness on supporting the field of sports. The field marshal affirmed that the BDF's continued support for military sports by providing various facilities and encouraged everyone to keep preparing for upcoming competitions in pursuit of further achievements in order to raise Bahrain's status regionally and internationally. In the conclusion of the event, Field Marshal distributed cups to the winners. He expressed appreciation for all participants and wished them further success. The event was attended by the head of His Majesty the King's Military Office, Sheikh Abdullah bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Secretary General of the Supreme Defense Council, Lieutenant General Sheikh Daeish bin Salman Al Khalifa, along with a number of senior officers from the BDF, the National Guard, and the Ministry of Interior.
the Deputy Prime Minister Jawad bin Salm Al Arayyad chaired the regular meeting of the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs. The committee reviewed the topics and memorandums listed on its agenda, which included several draft laws, treaties, agreements, MOUs, and decisions that the committee studied at the request of the government. The committee also studied several draft laws proposed by both Shura Council and the Council of Representatives and has prepared upon these proposals a draft of the government's response. The government of Bahrain today announced a 4.3 billion dinar economic stimulus package to support the country's citizens and private sector and the counter the effects of the coronavirus COVID-19. At a press conference, a number of government ministers set out an unprecedented package of policy measures to directly support citizens, residents and businesses in the kingdom. The 4.3 billion dinar stimulus package is equivalent to 29.6% of Bahrain's annual GDP. Under the leadership of his Majesty the King and under the direction of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the ministers announced an eight-point economic package that commits the government to referring a draft law concerning paying the salaries of all private sector employees for three months from April 2020 from the Unemployment Fund following constitutional procedures and in line with the social insurance law. Paying individuals and businesses electricity and water authority utility bills for three months from April 2020 up to the costs incurred during the same period in 2019, whilst also restructuring government administrative costs to offset additional costs incurred by the government. Exempting all individuals and businesses from municipal fees for three months up to from April 2020. Exempting all businesses from industrial land rental fees for three months from April 2020 exempting all tourism-related industry from tourism levies for three months from April 2020, doubling the liquidity support fund to 200 million dinars, increasing the Central Bank of Bahrain's loan facilities to 3.7 billion dinars to allow debt installments to be deferred and extra credit to be extended. The redirection of all Temkin programs to support adversely affected companies, as well as the restructuring of all debts issued by Temkin, the government ministers emphasized the Committee of the Kingdom's leadership to supporting unprecedented circumstances with an unprecedented policy response and to doing all within their power to protect the health, safety and prosperity of all those within the Kingdom. The Ministry of Health said in a statement it has published the mechanism according to which its website is used to track the locations of active COVID-19 cases in order to ensure the health and safety of citizens and residents. In response to a number of messages circulating on social media regarding Genusan Village, the Ministry of Health clarified that the contact tracking mechanism is not confined to a certain village. Rather, it provides detailed information including dates, times and locations of contacts of active COVID-19 cases to facilitate the ministry's role in ensuring the safety of the community. The ministry stressed that contact tracking is an internationally recommended method of safeguarding public health. The ministry emphasized the importance of visiting its website www.moh.gov.ph to review any additional details published on contact tracking and for citizens and residents to ensure that they or their family members have not been in the same locations during the same dates as contact contacts of active COVID-19 cases have been. The ministry calls on all individuals who have been in the same location to immediately contact 444 and follow the instructions provided. The Ministry of Health urges all business owners to review and follow the guidelines published on the ministry's website explaining how to deal with suspected active COVID-19 cases at the workplace without the need to cause panic or affect the workflow and services provided to citizens and residents. The ministry reiterated the importance of social distancing, avoiding gatherings of more than 20 people and staying at home as much as possible, going out only when necessary. The Southern Governor's Municipal Council held an extraordinary meeting where the council praised the decisions of its Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to close down cafes that serve shisha for a month, which is a part of the preventive and precautionary measures to protect citizens and residents against COVID-19. The council also approved a report on the proposed health requirements for salons for both men and women to ensure the safety of all. The council then approved to stop selling and buying in traditional markets, the, mat the mattresses department in particular located in Isatown affected from tomorrow until further notice.